So first, we're going to start with the platform side of it. And like I was saying before, we have moved away from applets. We're following the lead of web browsers like Chrome and Firefox. We're no longer going to be using that Java applet. We're going to be using a WebGL plugin. And like I was saying before, it's going to allow for an easier and quicker process of working within your windshield system. And so let me just print a demonstration demo right here. So to our left is our new HTML-based editor, and we're comparing it to our previous applet based editor so as you can see i'm already in the process of working with my workflow editor within 11.1 and to the right i'm still in the process of actually logging in and booting up my java applet in order to actually get working and if we keep our eyes to the left i'm going to be finished what i'm doing with my work based editor before i even have a chance to actually get started within my previous applet based editor so it's a way for quicker and more quickly more efficiently working within your windchill system going to the WebGL plugin as opposed to the Java applet that we were using in our previous release. Okay. And Windshow has increased our license compliance ability, so we still require a license file, so subscription time limits and user licenses will be enforced for the absolute Windshow. But also with that, you do have greater capacities for acquiring those licenses. It'd be automatic through a connection to PTC. And with that, you'll have the ability for license usage reporting for Windchill's performance advisor and local reporting of those license uses. Okay. And we've made some increases to the overall usability of Windchill. One of the number one customer requested enhancements for Windchill is cascading attributes, essentially, if I select a attribute at the very top level, it'll determine what the next sub attribute I do. And it allows me to down select from that as opposed to just going through nested functions. So if I take a second, we can go through a demonstration of that. So here I have my CA group. I'm gonna select my continent. That's going to limit down to my countries. That's going to limit down to my states and I can limit it all the way down to our city. So a easier, robust way to down select what options you're going for within your windchill system. Along with that, we've also had the ability to allow for rich text within the change management processes within windchill. So the ability to bold, italicize, underline, create numbered and bullet lists, those are all now functionalities within the change management and the text editing within windchill itself. And the final Improvement that I'm gonna go over for within Windshow is the ability for multi-CAD augmented reality publishing. So with that, you can take any of the parts that you have within Windshow and publish those as AR experiences. Essentially, you're going to take that, you're gonna take that part, you're going to save it to your cloud essentially. And from that cloud, anyone with the Vforia View app, which is a free application, will have access to will have the ability to access that representation, that visualization through the thing mark that you're gonna have within your windshield system. You will have a certain number of thing marks within your system, which are simply just PTC branded QR codes, and it'll be a progressive save. So as you continuously save, it'll simply overwrite your oldest QR codes.